LGBT activism has been in the headlines for the last 12 months across Europe, from controversial comments from Polish archbishops to an increased presence in the Balkans. And on Sunday, it will be Switzerland who are heading to the polls in a national referendum which could criminalise any hate speech against the LGBT plus community. But what exactly is going on here? Well, let's try and break it down for you. In 2018, Switzerland expanded their existing discriminatory laws to include things like race, religion and ethnicity. This would be an expansion of that law to include sexual orientation. Now, what it would mean is that any public hate speech in a public environment, such as on the street or in a cafe, well, that would be criminalised. But what wouldn't be included is any hate speech or anti-LGBT sentiments spoken in a family contest. Now, this referendum has received a lot of backing and public support from a huge entity across the world known as Coca-Cola. Now, they've been very vocal previously in countries like Hungary, where we've seen their pro-LGBT sentiments, here releasing their ethnic manifesto, saying here that they are encouraging tolerance and diversity. But this sort of campaign, this has actually received a strong response from the largest party within Switzerland's parliament. That's the People's Party and their youth section saying here that Coca-Cola is showing itself in an area where it is not entitled to do so. This echoes the sentiments of the People's Party, who themselves have been vocal on social media, saying that this referendum and the demands of the LGBT LGBT community, well, they hit the wrong people twice. What they mean by that is that they don't feel like this referendum and a new law that would actually help social equality and prevent hate speech on a grassroots level. But this has been echoing a number of sentiments from other activists and LGBT communities within Switzerland, such as Sonderweg 9. They literally translate as no special law. And their co-founder, again, on social media, saying that he doesn't believe that this law is good for equality and that social acceptance is not achieved by criminal legislation. Well, I don't think you need to protect people from hate speech. It's not like a natural right that they have. I think you need to protect and you probably need to get better to protect people from violence like be it like physical violence or personal violence against them in a very specific case. But I think you cannot generally punish the, the speech that you don't like. You know, even if you consider this as hate speech you personally, I think there's not really an objective kind of criteria to define what is now hate speech and what not in such a very broad sense. And early indications suggest that Switzerland will back this referendum by a margin. But we await to see the full results on Sunday.